Stop. No. Yes, it is true. I lost the presidential election in 2012 to Mr. Barack Obama. But that is only because I thought the world was ending. So I withdrew <laughs> the election and hid under a rock on top of me. But now, in 2016, it is finally time for me to formally announce to the country. No, the world. No, the entire city that I... <laughs> <laughs> Once again, be running for kilometers down the road to the registrations office where I will fill out all my information to run for president again. Keep it 2016. <laughs> How to run for president. No, thank you for having me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Run for president by example. After five simple lessons, you'll have all the tools necessary to run for president, including your own campaign slogan, which in my opinion is the most important part. You know which slogans I'm talking about. Hillary Clinton has fighting for us. Donald Trump says make America great again. As for myself, I don't have one yet. But by the end of this video, <laughs> not only will I have a good campaign slogan, but a slogan that is better than all the other candidate slogans put together. So let's get started. Lesson one, answering tough questions. The first lesson in running for president, you gotta be able to answer all the tough questions. For me, answering tough questions is nothing new. Not okay. only have I answered tough questions, I've answered some of life's toughest questions. Such as, they were both first. The chicken was inside of the egg. Yes, Justin, it is in fact too late to say you are sorry. No, 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 the sun is 19. Unless you're 19 and you still think 21 is a funny answer. No, it does not come out for another two years. Well, yes, it does make you look a little fat. Would you ask for honesty? <laughs> Why would you even ask me if you expected a certain answer? We're just going to the movie theaters. Why do you even need a dress in the first place? Can we please... Just go? Thank you. Now what do you want to go see? I just told you it doesn't come up for two years, Justin! Lesson two. <laughs> Wait. Issues. Now that you can answer all the tough questions, you're now ready for lesson two. Addressing the big issues. Every election, the candidates are always asked about the same big issues. Education, gun control, North Korea. All you have to do is talk about those big issues and give your very own solutions. The current okay. No Child Left Behind Act pushes struggling kids forward. And I personally think that is absolutely immoral and wrong. When there's someone in your group who is slow or disadvantaged and they're falling behind you in your group, do you go and push that member forward? Oh. <laughs> that's what's right. I plan to abolish the No Child Left Behind Act and establish the No Child Running Ahead Act. But we will never push Man. struggling students. Instead, we will slow down the ones that excel. What? <laughs> Not only South Korea, but East and West Korea as well, and every other direction in between. Right. <laughs> yeah. Side North Korea is on. Thanks East to and West, West Korea. Korea. We know that we have North West on our side. Some oh wow. Some people believe that guns kill people. Others believe that people kill people. But I've always believed that people kill guns. And just like pets have protection with Peta, I plan to start gun. Where you can have gun, but anyway, we gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> Knows that if you make people like, afraid of something, they'll look to you to fix it. Look at what Donald Trump did, for example. With all the recent bombings and terrorism going on, he made the people fear Muslims. And Donald Trump says he wants to ban all the Muslims from our country. Now, I completely disagree with that, but I do believe in freedom of speech. So when I become president, Donald Trump can still say whatever he wants. But I'm going to make it mandatory for him to have a Muslim on. That's right, we're going to Muslim. And he will henceforth be known as a Muslim. You see what Trump oh. did wrong? Is that banning all Muslims <laughs> is unrealistic. The fear that you introduce needs to be something believable. Something that people can relate to. Something real. Washing machines! Not everyone has one. <laughs> the ones that do, I'm here to tell you. In 2017, all washing machines will come to life. And there will be a wall. Not just for America, but all of humanity. And I know this because I am from the future. That's what? <laughs> You have to make promises of things you will change if you become president. And these promises just need to be things that everybody would be happy with. All future award shows will be only hosted by Steve Harvey. Anyone who says the word oh. will no longer be able to follow it up with, it's me or I was wondering. Anyone who has <laughs> articles that list things must put the entire list on that one page rather than putting a bunch of the things listed on different pages so you have to keep clicking next page. All sports will be renamed more accurately to what they look like. Basketball shall be known as bouncy oranges. Football <laughs> shall be called organic egg toss. Tennis will be known as spider web slapstick. Baseball, <laughs> sticking balls, rich sticking balls, Oreo slime. Why?
Flop her! <laughs> what? Captain! Can we uh, get somebody to fix that fireplace? There we go. Oh wow. And last but not least. <laughs> Campaign. Now this is probably the most important one because this is what wins elections. It doesn't really matter what you plan to do or what you plan to change if you have a good campaign. And most importantly, he's on the Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just that serious. I can fix it. Too. Yeah. Is that the homie? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Hit the one on the right. If you want to see bloopers in behind the scenes, one. hit the one on the left. And remember, people, I need your Whoa. help in order to win this campaign. I need your help. Hashtag. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or take that to Oh my god. Bruh, I'm done. I'm done. I definitely will vote for Higa. That's Man, good. this really makes me think about the whole presidency candidates and all that, like, for 2016. It's, like, serious. It's like really serious, like really serious. And the part that kills me is like Trump, like corrupt, corrupted. He's like corrupting this whole thing, you know. And and like it kills me that he even has one supporter. It I kills. Really hope he doesn't. It's like it's like no matter what, if it's good or bad, somebody's going to support the bad you know what i mean and i don't understand why people would support the bad like the only thing i see out of trump's like and i'm not if you guys like trump then that's fine you know this is just my opinion on the whole situation like and i put my opinion i don't see how you can like like if you like trump then you gotta be racist or or a, a, a race racist to an extent i'm not a racist president i don't even sound right that doesn't how, how can you be Racist? Why would we vote for a president that's racist in this day and age? Why would we vote for a racist president? Why would we li let somebody lead this country if they don't like everyone in the country? That doesn't make sense. I would never. I would never. He he, bruh, He's not my leader. <laughs> he's not. He's not my leader, bro. Like, if, if if he becomes president, something's fixed. Yeah, if he becomes president, the shit was rigged, y'all. Yeah. Like, and I don't think That's, his his safety is gonna be in jeopardy if he becomes <laughs> president. We all know that. Like, oh, every oh. some people don't want to say it, but we know that his safety is gonna be in jeopardy. And if, that's when I start some shit. If he becomes president, I mean, I'm pretty sure 
people said that about Obama, but like Obama did it, did it the right way. This dude is not going about the situation. Yeah, but looks like Nigga Higa is going about this whole situation good. Hilarious. I would. I would did he you said, notice? <laughs> did you notice that he was changing his uh, he was changing his shoes throughout the video the whole time. For real? I think so. Cause, I noticed like he had flip flops on. Yeah, and then he had shucks on before that. Um, and then he did the little foot thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to start. Asking all them questions. Asking all them questions. How did you feel about this video? Are you subscribed to Niga Higa? Are, Are you subscribed? So Have you seen this video before and did you come here for our reaction? Number three is important. What was your favorite part of this video? The dab. The yeah. dab had me dying, but when he was changing the name of the sports, that shit was crazy. This whole video was interesting, honestly, like... Yeah, um, I'm about to say one of my favorite parts was when it was in the beginning and he shook that guy's hand. Oh, and yeah. Like, you don't act all nonchalant, like, you just didn't take his arm off, <laughs> like, his hand off. Like, you, just, you just talk to him to say, like, hold yeah, that. Just, <laughs> like, just take what? that. <laughs> just a normal day, you know what I mean? But what was your favorite part of this video? That's why we ask these questions. And for the scenario question, would you vote for Niga Higa as president? I would. And my question, are you confident in the candidates that we have for 2016 mm -hmm. as far as the presidency goes? Some of you guys might be too young, but I know you guys have an opinion on it. And for you guys that's older, let's, let us know your opinions in the comment section. All right. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. And we love you. Stay awesome. Always. And forever. <laughs>